Good morning, card community. This is RJ, and it is time for the Sunday trivia recap. Hooray, loud cheers, applause, people doing the waves, fireworks going off, all kinds of mass hysteria. And a great day to be an Eagles fan, because we're going to finally get to the game that's going to send us to the Super Bowl. So, as far as baseball trivia goes, let's get to it. All right, we had three great questions last week, three great prizes to give away today. All right. So Monday <clears throat> was kind of a fun one because I had mentioned to everybody that on Monday I showed off a, a winning I got from Grizzo's cards. Grizzo does, um, I guess, contests for every 50 new subscribers. He's always giving things away. He's a pack ripper. So, of course, I got a whole bunch of packs. And if you check out Monday's video, I kept all the baseball packs, but I'm getting rid of everything else. There's at least one pack from all the other the other three major sports plus the soccer pack. So all these packs are up for grabs. Okay. And the question, since we were celebrating Grizzo's cards on that day, is um, name for me. I said Grizzo does so many contests. He did a Christmas contest. Who won his Christmas contest? Uh, and if you viewed that video, you would have seen that a man named Mike Schaefer won Grizzo's Christmas contest. So Mike Schaefer was the answer. These are the individuals who threw out a guess on that question. Uh, we will shuffle once and spin. You must hit three times to win on my channel because I like to draw out the uh, suspense a little bit and give everybody a better shot than rather just one and done. So, we have spun once, you must hit three times. We, we have shuffled once, we must hit three times. And we will spin now. Good luck to everybody on this one. There you go. Uh, very excited about the uh, Eagles game tonight. I shouldn't say very excited. Again, I am very much a, um, an all-baseball kind of collector. I concentrate on baseball and nothing else, really. Um, but the... Um, Eagles, you know, whenever the other teams do get in the playoffs, I will, you know, pay attention. I will follow. So I just want to, you know, I will be watching the game today or at least checking in once in a while. I know uh, my wife has uh, signed us up to go up to a friend's house today. So um, there is that. Um, anyway, uh, next week I got a lot of cool things to show off. Um, I'm really, I am enjoying personally my um, new video format where I'm highlighting sets more because, again, my whole passion is sets. Still showing off some really interesting side things as well. I was told uh, recently uh, one of the things I showed as my random baseball item was a uh, starting lineup of Richie Ashburn, a Cooperstown Collection starting lineup figurine. They're all, I mean, all starting lineup figurines for the most part, are like $5 items. They're just, they made so many of them. Um, and so many people just kept them in the boxes. They just, they just, they don't have any really particular value. You know, even your Babe Ruth's and Mickey Mantles can be had for a couple bucks. So, uh, but one of, one of the things I did notice in that box when I was looking through it, again, I got a, I bought a collection off of a, a guy several months ago, maybe even a year ago by now. And he had all kinds of random baseball things. And I am a, I'm a fan of all things baseball, random and not. Uh, oh, Lisa Z almost hit third time. The Bears still in it. Nobody's, Lisa's got two. I don't think anybody else has two other than Lisa yet. Anyway, um, one of the things I found in, in his box of stuff are were a number of porcelain cards. And if you look in the background there, you'll see the 52 Mickey Mantle. And a 52 Willie Mays porcelain versions. Um, I have a number of various odd porcelain cards from this guy's collection. Uh, about 30 of them. And I, I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, I, I don't have any room to put them up around. Uh, I have a couple of those little wooden home plate stands there. Uh but I don't know what to do with those little porcelain cards. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to have a yard sale sometime soon. Part of me wants to do an online uh, auction, but I've uh, 
never live streamed before and I don't know if I'd be any good at it. So I don't know, maybe I'll try and hook up with another content creator and go in has these. Is that Jeremy Michaels? It's not the bottom. Is that three for Jeremy? No, that's two for Jeremy as well. So we got a couple of people too. Anyway. No, but I want to get, I want to sell a bunch of stuff. See if, because I know, I, I love to watch these dollar auctions. They seem to have a lot of interest. Uh, a lot of people will, you know, tune in and pick up some cards that are of interest to them. Seems like a great, great way for me to get rid of a lot of cards that are of no interest to me. So, ooh, Clark Collector, 65 JW, just hit for a third time. All right, so hopefully, card collector, you are a card collector. I will be sending you this box real soon with these cards. These packs all stuck in them. I uh, hope you get a chance to uh, film yourself opening these. That'll be a lot of fun for the members of the card community. So congrats to card collector 65JW on that win. All right. Moving on to two Wednesday's video. Uh, look here, card collector 65JW, you are out. You cannot win but once a week on my channel. All right. I will, sh now we let's talk about what was up for grabs on Wednesday's video. On Wednesday, what I showed off was this here Roy Campanella card, the uh, Diamond Greats die cut from 2022 tops. And the question was, since Roy is a catcher, who was the first catcher elected to the Hall of Fame? Now, I had a couple interesting guesses, um, but I've noticed that unless I'm very specific with my questions, a lot of the smart people out there will, will prove me wrong. The actual answer to the question should have been, well, the actual question was, name the first person ever elected to the Hall of Fame as a catcher. Okay, that would have been Mr. Buck Ewing, who had a great 18th century career as a catcher. Uh, a number, a couple other positions he pay, played. People in the old days played multiple positions when they weren't, uh, you know, starting necessarily for their main position. They would be thrown in somewhere else. Mr. Ewing got elected in eight in 1939, but guess what? Somebody got elected in 1937 who was also a catcher, but they didn't get elected as a catcher. Connie Mack, legendary manager of the Philadelphia Athletics, was a catcher back in the 1800s as well. He got elected as a manager in 1937. So if you wanted to be really, you know, a, a nudge, and uh, make a big stink about the question, you could say that Connie Mack was the first catcher elected to the Hall of Fame. But, again, the question was uh, meant to be who was the first person elected as a catcher, and that would have been Buck Ewing. So, here we go. The individual on the screen, minus card collector 65JW, submitted guesses. We will shuffle once and spin. Good luck to everybody as you try to get that great Roy Campanella card. Yeah, so like I said, I'm, I, I've got a lot of these porcelain cards, and I will probably have a yard sale somewhere down the line trying to get rid of them. This coming week, i uh showing off a couple more PSA set registry pickups. Uh, it's interesting how I was struggling so much to find... Uh, certain cards for one of my PSA set registries and then suddenly they're dropping like flies. Although I have done some research and um, I know there's a couple cards, you know, I'm having trouble finding this card or that card uh, for that PSA set registry. And then when I looked online, it turns out that in the 44 card box set, there's a handful of the cards that have only been graded by PSA less than 10 times in their entirety. Not like there's less than 10 perfect 10s. No, no, no. There's less than 10 cards ever graded. Now, this is not a rare set. It's not like there's not a million cards to grade if somebody wanted to, to do it. It's just that, why would you grade this set? 
You know, this is not a set worthy of spending the money they're grading on. And, in fact, I did note that, you know, I, I, I'm, in, I'm attempting to the best of my ability. I only want to get some perfect 10s. That's what I would love to have, a full set of perfect 10s. Well, one of the cards, there are no cards graded a perfect 10 at all. PSA has never graded a perfect 10. Is that three for Shaw? It is. It is three for Shaw Racing Collects. So, congrats to Shaw up in the hinterlands. Mr. Shaw family, I will be sending you this great Diamond Die Cuts, Brooklyn Dodgers, Roy Campanella cards. Congrat card. Congrats to you guys. And then lastly, on Friday, let me go to Friday real quick. Card Collector 65JW. I don't think you threw out a guess on this one. Um, no, but um, Shaw did. But Shaw, you're out. Can't win but once. And then um, prize for Friday, another Diamond Greats die cut. This is the Josh Gibson one. Also a catcher he was. But the question was, who was the first Negro League star elected to the Hall of Fame? And I got a lot of people reach out to me on this one. So the question was, who was the first Negro Leaguer elected to the Hall of Fame? Now, the first player elected to the Hall of Fame as a Negro League player was Satchel Paige. Satchel Paige got elected in 1971. Uh, that was the first time that any person whose only appearances were with the Negro League ended up getting elected to the Hall of Fame, okay? But some people said, well, wait a second, the actual ADSA is Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, where is he? I have him here. Jackie Robinson got elected to the Hall of Fame in 1962. That was the first time anybody with Negro League experience uh, appeared in the Hall of Fame. Following Jackie, Roy Campanella. Roy Campanella made it in 1969, still before Satchel Paige. So an argument could have been made that Satchel Paige was not the first Negro League to get in the Hall of Fame. Jackie Robinson was. But clearly, I thought my question was obvious that I was looking for Satchel Paige as the answer. And somebody also did this. They said the answer was Bud Fowler. Because Bud Fowler was the first player of the Negro Leagues, the earliest player to play in the Negro Leagues, elected the Hall of Fame. So the first Negro Leaguer elected to the Hall of Fame. But again, none of those were right. I was looking for Satchel Paige. So... Um, here we are with the individuals who submitted a guess for that one. I'm going to have to start being very careful with my questions going forward when people start doing this to me. So <laughs> lesson learned, people, lesson learned. So again, we will shuffle once. We will spin. You got to hit three times, but good luck to everybody on your Josh Gibson card. But yeah, I got, um, I'm enjoying the, oh, was, like I was saying, there's, there's actually one card from my uh, PSA set registry set that I'm working on that nobody has ever graded it as a perfect... The PSA has never graded a perfect head on that card. So, there's no sense in looking for one. And a couple of them... Again, there's only like, you know... There's less than 10 ever graded at any grade for a couple of these cards. So, uh, I will have to um, eventually send in and submit... Um, cards to PSA myself, which I hate doing because it's like $50 a pop, and I still need about 20 of those cards, so it's going to cost me a small fortune just to get the cards graded. But I am still always looking online for somebody selling PSA 10 copies, and I have been very successful. Um, I, I finished last year not, not believing I could find any more 10s, and sure enough, I've found eight already uh, showed off four uh, two weeks ago and I'll show off another four uh, tomorrow if you want to check back and see so I am making progress with that one 
In fact, I'm making such good progress, what I'm going to have to do is spend some time switching over to um, one of the other PSA set registries because i got to complete my goals. And those guys are going to be a little bit more pricey than this one is. So we got a couple people with two hits already. Bears baseball cards. And Tim Howe have two hits already. That's okay. We're already 15 minutes in, so this one's going a little long. Mostly because I was talking so much about... Uh, um, what do I want to say? Talking so much about the um, Grizzos card thing and those packs of cards. So... Anyway, I haven't been, been haven't been entering many contests recently. There's always a, a, a YouTube contest. Somebody's out there telling you to do a VR. It's just you know, I've been busy with other things and haven't had a chance. Uh, again, I always take my time Saturday morning to pre-film all my week's contents. Tim, how that's three for you, sir. It is. All right. So, congrats to Tim Howe. Pick it up this here, Josh Gibson, Diamond Greats Die Cut. And that concludes the Sunday Trivia Recap for this week. Uh, again, I got three great prizes, three great trivia questions next week. So come check it out. Come check out the videos. A lot of uh, really cool things. A really cool set on Wednesday to showcase. A lot of history. Uh, some interesting historical facts on Friday to go over with you all. So... Come on back if you love baseball cards, and let's have a good time, all right? I want to appreciate everybody for watching. Please consider to like, subscribe, and comment, and all that jazz, because I greatly support, appreciate your support as I try my best to support a lot of other members of this great card community. Let's keep this rolling, all right? Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Go Eagles! Take care.